here to just spend a few minutes with you to tell you something about America's only native instrument, the banjo. We have a lot of musical instruments in the United States. We have them from all over the world. We have the piano, we have the trumpet, clarinet, organ, violin, cello, bass. All these instruments came to us from Europe. But there's one instrument that came to us from Africa in a very primitive form, and this is what it looked like. This was called a banjar from West Africa. And it was brought to this country in the late 1700s by the slaves, the only instrument they had that they could take with them. And they brought this instrument, and they ended up in the plantations of the South, uh, the slaves that were brought here from Africa. Some of the plantation owners let the uh, slaves play their music. And those that could play music, they usually lived. And they found that one slave trader found that if he tried to stop the music of the slaves, they sang and played the instrument on the board ship on the way over. Some of the slave traders took all the instruments away from them because they didn't want them to have anything. They wouldn't let them play. Many of those slaves died. But they found that slave owners, the slave traders found that if they let the, the slaves still sing and play their instruments, those are the ones that survive. So some of the plantation owners in the South, in our country, found that if they let the slaves play their music and sing, they, they, they were much happier, even though they had terrible lives living as slaves. But this was the only instrument they had. And in time, a lot of the Americans thought, well, there's an interesting instrument. We've never seen anything like that before, and it sounds different. It's kind of like a guitar. It has strings and a neck. But instead of a wooden sound box, it has a gourd with an animal skin stretched over it like a drum. Sometimes it have a drum on both sides. But they said, we can make a better instrument than that. So they, they, they said, we have drums, we'll make a good drum, and we'll put a neck on it like a guitar. And put, instead of animal gut strings, let's use wire. And that became the banjo. And the years went by, and they kept improving it, until finally it came to look like this. And this is the modern American banjo. And this is the early primitive banjo that was brought from Africa. So now it is, it became a very popular instrument around